Your Excellency, I, I was a matatu driver. Pardon me. You know, some of you, you have strong men. All we had is Jesus. Some things are a dream when the Lord calls you and he shows you things. And when I began building this, there was a lot of opposition. They sent the police to fight me. They sent people. And I never thought of my wildest dream I would ever stand before great men like this. I am the least here. By age, by size, by nature. And no one knew me, but Jesus knew. And, uh, you know, when you see a man crying, I'm not, em women, men are not emotional. Sorry for taking your time, sir. But some of us know the God that brought us up. So I became a dog feeder and I was elected, I mean, I was appointed to feed dogs. And those of you that can attest, you can see former mayor Joa Ketch, I was his personal assistant. He was there. And I started feeding dogs and I would feed dogs and they would pay me and one time they would, I didn't have money so they gave me 300 and the food I had for the dogs was mincemeat. So I took half of it and I ate. And all that time, God was perfecting me. Sir, whatever you go through, it is God perfecting you. So that your humility can be strong. Your love for people can be strong. Your oil can be strong. And above all, Christ in you, the hope of all glory, be strong in you. If you would have asked me, three months ago, we built this. Uh, one year ago, I was living in a bed sitter with my family, my children. <laughs> there is a God in heaven, Kenya. And he lives the humble. And it doesn't matter what you think. When God blesses a man, you can do nothing about it. I thank you, sir, for honoring. You have built me in ways you never thought. That truly the least one in your economy plan can be affected. This module works. Bottom. We are the bottom. Now we are up. It's true. And I would never thought that I could ever meet you or your people or Apostle Romeo Sai or Mama. It would have been a wildest dream. But the Lord has done good. Minister Theophila Sunday. <laughs> So thank you, sir. I won't take much of your time. Thank you for honoring. It is my heart's prayer that what you have made for me today, God will align men to make it for you tomorrow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because of time, we'll be careful to know that His Excellency is going somewhere. Please forgive me. I'm not a man of protocol. I'm a man of spirit. So for, forgive us, sir. It's a true privilege to have you. And any time you are within the county or any time you need the council, if you need us to come and be that voice that calls you in the night, you can call us at midnight. We are always awake for six hours every day praying for you. And if at any one time you would ever need the counsel of this great general, please, the direct line is there for you to hear the counsel of God. He can tell you what God is saying better than me. I trust in this God. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, ma'am, for our elected leaders and those aspiring leaders. Please have a seat without them. Please, you keep standing. The reason why I'm telling you to have a seat, let's give His Excellency the leeway to move swiftly. Please, I request you, you will not be allowed outside. Please, first of all, just take a seat.